you know why you came here? Yeah. Why? Because I was being bad at my other one. School. I think there is a stigma attached to pupil referral units. The stigma is that it's a place for naughty children. I mean, I don't like that terminology at all. I used to swear a lot, I used to be mean to the teachers a lot. Did you have a good weekend? You do get really attached to them. The time you spend with them and the things you go through together, it's just... There's, there's nothing like it, really. They're not naughty children. They're wonderful, bright, intelligent, just amazing children, but they've made poor choices, and that's a big, big difference. That's it's a big day for Caden, his first with a new class at Hawkswood Pupil Referral Unit. He's only six, yet he's in danger of being permanently excluded from his mainstream school. Well, I did really bad stuff, like pushing other people and punching some people and sometimes kick them. Caden, you are very good at that. He's recently, from what we understand, in a uh, reduced timetable, so he wouldn't be in class all day. Do you know why you did that? I don't know. I think they got me in a really bad mood. People do that sometimes. Yeah. So our aim would be to get him back into a mainstream classroom where he can be there all day and accessing the curriculum like all of his peers. He's in a class with four other children in the same boat. Today's the first time they've all been together. OK. Hey. When they all first came in, I think they were a bit bubbly and a bit jumpy because they just needed to feel secure in the space and they needed to feel secure with me. And the new environment is testing one of Caden's triggers, noise. You don't like noise, do you? No. Yourself, and you were hurting people. That's why uh, my name granddad um, got the ear offenders to block off every single noise. So you need to speak nicely to your friends. And if you can't do that... Scared by the noise, Caden has started to act up. Hey, we're going to move you out of this area. ran from the noise and it, it I would say it distressed him and then that led on to undesired behaviour. I know that he wanted a bit, little bit of peace and quiet to yeah. calm down. Cajun, can we go to a safer place in the corridor? It's a bit quieter. And he was kind of stuck in the moment and so you try a few different tactics. Well done. Can I show you something before we go? I'm going to show you something here, look. In here. Do you want to go in here? Yeah. 
So he said, oh, have you seen our new library? Do you want to go in? And that was it. He came right out of it. And that's my favourite book. Oh, no way. That's your favourite book? Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. That's right. Lego Batman. Do you know what we're going to do? That was distraction. In that moment, that's what brought him down again. Caden's one of 40 pupils at Hawkswood. Some are as young as five. They all have different needs, but they're all here because they've struggled to manage their behaviour. A typical intervention is approximately 15 to 20 weeks. It's really important that we build attachments with the children from a very early stage, and we do that via utter consistency. For the juniors, the first lesson's PE every single morning. She said scientifically, when you do PE, it helps your brain work properly. Um, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but if it's scientifically, then count me in. At my old school year, I was spitting, I was punching, I was hitting, and I was throwing chairs about, and it was really, it was really bad. The worst time was when six or seven people had to hold me down on the floor. I spent eight months without being in school. It wasn't good, it wasn't good because it made my brain hurt, I didn't even learn anything. My sister had to teach me, um, do you know nursery, 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 four at four, two at two, yeah, she had to learn me that. Why do I think Jill was kicked out of school? Because she was, she was, she was naughty. Do we say naughty? No, What bad. did? What, what do we say bad? No. What do we say? She made what? She, the wrong she, choices. She made the wrong choices. We teach the children that they have a choice when they feel frustrated. They have a choice when they feel anxious or angry. And we teach them that they're in control of those choices.